To tell you first like why I got here, I mentioned that I have done everything I can to kind of recover or rehab this. My problems, obviously I have a belly um, from it and um, like that is one thing, but honestly my biggest motivation is to improve my function. The things that I am noticing are that I can't really comfortably progress exercise. Luckily, I'm an exercise dabbler. I don't do a lot of any one thing. I like to run, but I feel like I can't get past about five kilometers before I'm very uncomfortable. My husband is a physiotherapist as well, and I feel like he's always having to fix me around my ribs, around my pelvis. Something's always tight and sore, and I know that comes from a weakness here. Um, I feel like I get a lot of SI joint pain with running and with progressing activity. And um, like I said, I'm, I'm always hesitant to progress. Swimming, for example, I notice I'm always the one that doesn't want to do more. And I think it's because I know my neck will start hurting. I feel weak in here. Um, weight training, I never go more than like, I've never progressed my weight in four years because I feel like I can't. Something always hurts after. And so for me, it's definitely function. I'm an active person, so that's my pro. I don't want to just stay static forever. I wanna be continually active for the rest of my life. And so that's one thing I'm like, if I can repair that weakness, then um, I can be strong moving forward. I am not getting younger. So I just turned 40 this year and I think it was a bit of a, oh my gosh, like my tissue quality is not gonna get better with time. My muscles are not gonna necessarily get stronger with time. And so, you know, like if I want to stay active, then maybe this is a really good time to be thinking about it. Once our hormones change with menopause and everything, the tissue quality is not as good. And so I think my best chance for recovery might be sooner than later. I have seen lots of success. I've seen so many women say like, oh, best thing I could have done. And so that's always in my head thinking like, mm, maybe I won't regret that. Um less self-conscious i put that at the bottom of the list for a reason like absolutely would i like to have my flat tummy back of course would i want to have my flat tummy back again but not my biggest motivation here it would be an added bonus um because i do notice that i wear clothes where i kind of cover that area but again like that would be a bonus to me i'm doing this all for the function my cons list is actually longer which i think has taken me why it's taking me longer to do this one, like we're looking at, I'm banking on between nine and $12,000 for the surgery itself. It's not covered by our healthcare system, which is, but um, it isn't and I can't change that. So um, this is money I don't have necessarily saved up. So that's a big con. I feel very guilty about spending that money, even though all of this stuff, like I know it's in, like, you can't put a price tag on health yada yada i still feel like my family could do a really good a nice trip for that amount of money and i'm using it on something for myself so there's guilt around that obviously the time off work i'm banking on having at least six weeks off work which wasn't which is another financial stress and just like um thinking of continuity for my clients i'm like wow that's a lot of time to be off so it's just another thing that's in my head as a con time off exercise exercise is a huge mental outlet for me and I know that it's going to take me a long time to be able to exercise at the level I am able to right now. Um, but it kind of fits on the plus side. Like I look forward to that journey back because uh, I think I'm going to be able to surpass what I'm doing right now. Will I be worse off? Obviously that there's complications that go with surgery. Like that's a big abdominal reconstructive surgery. Will I regret having it done? Am I better off? Like I'm really not breaking right now. So am I better off just doing what I'm doing right now? Again, all stuff floating in my head. Um, the stigma of plastic surgery. And please, like you have to understand, like I'm a human too. And even though people come in to me and say like, you know what, my number one motivation for having this done is for the aesthetics. And you do you, if that's what you wanna do, I'm all for that. But I would say for me, um, there's something about plastic surgery that makes me feel uncomfortable for myself. And I have a daughter who um, I don't want to have body image issues or anything. And so I think about mommy explaining that she's fixing her tummy. I've always been very proud of how I react to my kids when they poke my belly and say, mommy has a big tummy. Um, are you having a baby mommy? Um, I'm always proud of my response and like, no, no, 
like mom's belly's just stretched out ever since I had you guys. Um, you know, that'll always be like that. And now I'm considering changing that. So I guess in my head, I'm like, I, again, I would make sure my messaging is like, well, mom's doing this to be stronger and mom's doing this to feel like she can still be active. But I still feel that in my head is like, am I being vain? Um, sh am I worrying too much about this? So again, just a kind of a glimpse into my head about the pros and cons. Everybody's pros and cons list will be different, but I do highly suggest you think about making something because um, I think it's really valuable to go through all of those points for you. Okay.